If this one that we just put up there were devoted solely to telephone service, 90,000 conversations at the same time. Stand by. Mr. President, the signal switch boys on. Hello? Well, hello to Hank and both Mike's and Steve and Judy and Charlie. Sounds like a little community, a town you've got going up there. Listen, we're following your exploits and you're doing a, a great job. How's it going? Any surprises so far? Well, any surprises so far? <laughs> well, you don't mind if I think that over. Listen, I want you to know that the men and women in the Navy and at Hughes Aircraft were thrilled by your perfect deployment of SINCOM. That communication satellite's going to help all of us in this country, and believe me, we're grateful for your great part in getting it up there and getting it launched. And now, as of this morning, just a little while ago, you were three for three with the launch of the AT&T uh, communication satellite. <laughs> All right. Listen, you know, I know that previous astronauts have now and then been able to pinpoint various things down here that they can see from the vantage point of space. And um, how do we look from up there? You uh, seen anything uh, unusual or things that you're going to be reporting on? Yes, of course, this has been a season in which some of the earth that shouldn't be covered with water has been covered with water, too. Listen, your work up there is helping to make it easier for the people of the earth to communicate with each other. So on top of being space men and a space woman, you're doing some very good work for your fellow citizens of earth. And we're very thankful and we're also very proud. Uh, may I ask, is Dr. Judy Resnick nearby? Well, Judy, how is it your first flight? How's it going? Is it all that you hoped it would be? Well, <laughs> as for that, what does an electrical engineer do in space? <laughs> well, listen, I also want to wish a happy 36th birthday to Charlie Walker. Now, I know the birthday isn't until Wednesday, but I have the feeling that you'll all be so busy and uh, he'll be busy as you'll all be finding a parking place at Edwards so uh, I just thought I'd send the greetings now. Well, happy day and listen, what you're doing is so exciting that you mentioned about myself being up there. As I say, I'll have to think about that for a while and then see whether I uh, can appoint myself as passenger. But uh, our thoughts and our prayers are with you, believe me. And I say that for myself and Nancy and I know for all America. But there is one thing I'm hesitant about making any suggestions to all of you up there who know so well what you're doing. Uh, but if you will remember to just now and then build some downtime so you can just sit back and watch the world go by. You know, there was a wonderful flyer once. His name was McGee. He wrote a poem about the freedom that he felt flying above the earth. He fly as much altitude as he could get and, as he put it, uh, lose the bonds of gravity and hurtle through the clouds and, as he put it in one line of his poem, touch the face of God. I hope that with all that you're doing up there, I hope that you will have time for a moment like that. We're all very proud of you. God bless you all.
I'll go along with that. And uh, now I'll say goodbye and let you continue with what you're doing. And we'll all be watching you on TV. Goodbye. That was one of the best conversations you've had with me. <laughs> Did you hear him? Huh? Yeah, it sounded like they were in the really? next office, yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Her answer, if you, you, if they play this thing in the whole, at both ends of the conversation, you would hear her answer when I said, what is it? She said to me up there, she was saying about to be up there with the crew of the Army and the Navy and the Air Force and all of them arguing about which one is best. And, uh, <laughs> and so when I said, well, yeah, what does an electrical engineer do? <laughs> She says, whatever they tell me. <laughs> I, I don't know whether I'm alone in this, but I don't really have an urge to, to join them there. I, I like it just about horse high. You like wide open spaces. Uh, yes. You can get off the horse. Well, well, enough for one day. All right. Okay. I guess Kathy, is Kathy going on a trip? I believe she is. Yeah. Good. So I'll carry a little work up Get there. Get a little work done. Did you find the address? We'll get it, sir.